Hey everyone, I'm Bobby Giancola with Denison Yachting and today we're in Dania Beach at Harbor Town Marina aboard my new listing, a 2016 Sunseeker Manhattan 55. We're going to start this walkthrough off in the salon, so come on take a look. The quality of finish and functionality is really surprising for this size boat with conversational areas seen throughout. Some of the biggest changes have been made in the salon with the port hand side walkway which has been replaced with a comfortable sofa to create a more sociable environment where you and your guests can sit opposite each other discussing the day's adventures to come. Or at the push of a button, a power lift TV pops up to enjoy on a rainy day. Moving forward on the starboard side, there's a cocktail bar, fridge, and access to glassware. Opposite to port, your raised dinette with a clever table design has flip up sides to reveal cup holders to give you that cocktail hour feel and when ready to dine, they flip down to fit six to eight people comfortably. Before moving down to the very popular lower galley or galley down option, you'll see to starboard the redesigned helm allowing for more space for two Raymarine displays, the onboard diagnostic system, engine monitors, and your bow and stern thruster controls. Other added comforts are the diamond stitch helm chairs, adjustable wheel, and a high gloss carbon fiber dash. Now moving forward down to the lower galley, you'll note all the natural light that pours in from the helm windows above. The next feature you'll notice is the full height fridge and freezer, three burner stovetop, sink and dishwasher. Continuing forward to the VIP cabin, you'll see this room is complemented nicely with the two porthole windows to port and starboard and skylight above, all of which can be opened to allow the fresh sea breeze to fill the room. The VIP also has a private door to the shared day head. Heading aft through the companionway, will enter the full beam amidships owner's cabin. Again, complemented by the even larger whole side opening windows we saw in the VIP. With plenty of headroom and walk around space, you can really feel like you're on a bigger boat than you actually are. Even the third guest cabin has quality seen in bigger boats with the side-by-side -side twin beds instead of oddly shaped bunk beds. Now let's head up to my favorite area on this boat, the flybridge. Up here on the flybridge, because it was extended aft, it allows for much more space for seating for you and your guests to enjoy the views while underway or at anchor in a cozy cove in the Exumas. Another feature is the helm has been moved from the starboard side to the port side, so the operator can actually look down the stairway and have a visual of the stern more clearly when docking. Just behind the helm seat, you'll find the summer galley cooktop with ice cold freezer box, with storage or space for a fridge below. With a non-skid deck under your feet on both port and starboard side, access to the foredeck is a breeze. With a spacious sun pad, guests can enjoy the rays while underway or being held safely with the Delta anchor controlled by a Lumar windlass. Here in the cockpit, you'll notice it feels secure. It has deep seating, plenty of storage underneath the cushions, and as well with the extended flybridge, you have canvas that comes to cover up in case of foul weather. Moving aft onto the hydraulic swim platform, you'll see space for an inflatable tender or jet skis if you prefer. On the port side, there's access to the crew cabin, which for this owner is currently used for storage. On behalf of Dennis and Yachting and myself, Bobby Giancola, thank you so much for watching this video of a 2016 Sunseeker Manhattan 55. If you would like to schedule an appointment to come see her, please contact me anytime. Thank you so much.